Greetings everyone and welcome to a special Saturday edition of ExtraCast. Today Lightning Dragon and I are going to talk about the Prowler, how we feel about it, is it good, is it bad, what do we like, what don't we like. Alright, let's get to it. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of Extra Cast. Uh, we decided to go ahead and talk about this separately because, well, the Prowler, I have a little video for you here as I get summarizes our entire thoughts on it. So there you have it. Uh, of course, uh, with me as always is my Bastion of Common Sense Lightning Dragon here to add his two cents in about the Prowler, and I'm sure it's going to be a lovely two cents at that. More like friggin' five dollars or something. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's just put this out on the table, okay? This is not a boarding ship. This is a drop ship. This is the opposite, I think, of what most people expected. I'm officially calling this the Proudemer Hoplite. So <laughs> this is just added to the mix of ships we have now that can drop troops off. Don't get me wrong. Um, it seems to... It has a very interesting design, though it does remind me, honestly, of the main ship from Battle Beyond the Stars one of the most interesting B science movies ever that came out around the time of Star Wars, trying to capitalize on that ever. Um, the ship had boobs, so maybe it was the progenitor of the freelancer Durr. <laughs> quite literally <laughs> boobs. Yes, quite literally. Uh, so, the thing is, is that with this particular ship, it has two size 5 gimbals in the front and a size 6 gimbal pointed back. Now, it doesn't look like it's an actual turret. Uh, from what I can see and so I'm not exactly sure how that works maybe someone's sitting inside with a camera and maneuvering like like, a, like the Hornet like the Super Hornet uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that works There's not a lot of details there or maybe it's automated <laughs> yeah size 3 shield it's got shields that cover the doorways and the side when people uh, are basically when it's open so they can shoot or be protected while they, they I guess they can shoot out maybe from inside the ship and things like that. It, it's interesting. Don't get me wrong. It's an interesting design. But when, when when they said boarding ship, now this can board. Yeah, it can board a a, a, a carrier. It yeah, can board anything you can dock in. And hangar bays are open. You can fly in there, and your dudes can get out, and you can board. And you can board it. But you can do that in any ship that can carry more than one person. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it's almost like uh, something I, my favorite comedian who's no longer with us, Mitch Hedberg. Uh, he liked the, his comedy was always about pointing out the obvious, and this ship would just be totally right up his alley. You know, um, as, he would say, as he used to say, any kid, any book is a kid's book if the kid can read. So, <laughs> so this is kind of like you know, any ship is a boarding ship if the ship could board it and dock in the ship that it's going to be dropping the people off in. Um, so really, this, I mean, this makes the fourth yes. quote unquote. A drop ship at this point, right? Right. Because, as and, you pointed out, that I, yeah. I didn't think about, the Retaliator can have a drop ship module replaced from where the torpedo bays are. Yeah, you can fill it up with troops. So, technically speaking, you know, it, it could serve a similar function. So, you know, we basically have now we have uh, the, Re the Redeemer, we have the Prowler, we have the Vanguard Hoplite, and we have, in, if it's set up the right way, the Retaliator. That is a lot of uh, troops. Apparently, we're going to be moving around now. If if the retaliator is more for troop transport and not troop dropping off, yeah, it's well, it's that's more troop transport, quite but quite a drop ship. Yeah, but the but... fact is, all you have to do is just open up the little little the little the bays uh -huh. that go down, and then you just jump out of the ship, and you're a drop ship now. With, well, with even, more people. Even so, if the thing was the land, it has all those turrets. Imagine, this, imagine the cover fire you could lay out. And, and the... not to mention the, the the twin shields. As soon as they fix that, and all yeah. the armor it's got, once the shields go down, you wouldn't be able to touch it with with standard issue weapons. Even if they were like rocket launchers or something, it just go tra la 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 la, and then yeah. you know the guns would just turn and go blah 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 blah, and just freaking yeah. annihilate anyone. It'd be it'd be a brutal drop ship just because of the the nature of the the ship. As long as they fix the fucking shield so they're not worthless and make it so <laughs> ships have armor besides the fucking hornets. Yeah, pistol, <laughs> pistols should not blow up starships. Uh, not not necessarily unless you're shooting a very precise point with all of its defenses down. Uh, but when when they announced um, 
a boarding ship. What I got in my head was something that would latch onto the hull, hook up to an airlock, force the airlock open, or blow it open, and then your people would basically move across. If you look at all the concept art they submitted, yeah. one of the ships had a little EMP drive on the front. So yeah. you would like get up close, you'd fire the EMP, and then you'd like EVA over and board the ship. Yeah, even I mean, that'd be more a doable. A lot of them had like little spikes and stuff. Uh, it, yeah. Well, this ship, this ship doesn't. There's no way this ship could operate by itself to be, to be effective in what it does. You're going to need to have someone go in first and either disable the ship that you're you're going after, or or, or something like that. I mean, there's just no way that this ship is is effective by itself. Even even you know, like when you think of like for example, if it's going to land on a planet to drop off its troops. In my opinion, the Redeemer is actually better here because of all of its turrets, all the guns it has, all it pointing in different directions. It gives more cover fire. And you talk about, oh, we got this little thing on, on, the, um, on the landing gear here that, that they fan out and give people cover. Well, you know, to a large degree, the Redeemer has the same thing. Those big engines that it has on the side makes a hell of a good amount of cover for people coming up to buy that ship. Not to know? mention the fact that the Redeemer is going to get an upgrade on weaponry because they realize that if people are getting out, they don't have as much cover as they should. And so it's going to get an additional rear-facing, like, a, what was it, like a, a gimbal mount, kind of like the, the Freelancer or something like that? Yeah, there's there's just... So as I said, I, I think there's I think there's a general understanding from the community. Some people love it, and I said I'm not going to disparage that. And I hate bringing up this topic again, again, and again. But I didn't want to add this to the standard uh, blast cast that we're going to be doing. But to me, it's like this this needed to be pulled out. Otherwise, this would be a large discussion. It, it'd be the itself. entire blast cast. Yeah, it would. And I, I just other things I want to talk about because there was a lot of good information, a lot of interesting information we do want to cover, and this would just have taken up too much time. But overall, uh, at a price point of, of $425, or I think it's 380 or something, if you buy it straight out with cash, I, I think it's overpriced. I think it's massively overpriced. To me, this ship is twice as much as it should be, easily. It's just not, it's just not worth it. It's too much of a niche, and it's not even that powerful of a ship. It's, it's one of those things that... I think they're going to price themselves out on us. I don't see a lot of players actually buying this ship. I see them taking advantage of the other sales that are going on during the week, but I can't see anyone just really salivating on, on this particular ship. I mean, not for the price. Yeah, I mean, $425. I mean, for, You could almost get two Redeemers for that price. Yeah. Yeah, or, or you're in that area, yeah. Or so you could get a Redeemer and a fighter, and you'd have someone to escort you. Yeah. That'll work too. So yeah, it's one of those things that overall, not too happy with it. I mean, I, I like, I, I kind of like it uh, as far as the design goes, as far as the concept goes. But I think the uh, the last note we can have here is the only benefit that this ship has is it brings another manufacturer into the that's the true. fold. Yeah, and then we can see you know like maybe a little bit more outside the box more like animal themed ships because they had like this this hawk theme they went with it which i think is is not bad i, I don't think the ship looks ugly it's no. a little bit thin and spindly and it looks like it would it'd break under heavy fire but overall the, the shape and stuff is is interesting and, and it's different and it's new and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that no Just no i agree i think everything I think, else <laughs> i think new aesthetics new designs it's good to see um, some different images, uh, different different ships or style designs based on alien races. In fact, I got uh, a picture here. I'll put up of, of the uh, alien race and kind of what it looks like. And they're kind of a spindly, thin-looking race anyway. So the design kind of fits their their nature. I mean, if you want to fit the the ship to the to the alien race. But as I said, for me, the only disappointing thing is is that this is not a boarding ship. I think we can just call that as it is. I don't think anyone could say this is a boarding ship. This is just this is just another drop ship, and you know that's the only disappointment there. So anyway, we wanted to separate this out. So we'll be of course normal blast cast as always. And uh, other than that, we just want to get our thoughts out on it. I I, I think I'll give this a really high points for for concept, really high points for style, and uh, but I'm going to give it like really low points for price and really low points. For the fact that it's really not the role that was advertised. It's just more dropships. We we have too many. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's 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 over the top. We got enough guys. Stop. Anyway, all right, guys. 
we'll go ahead and catch you next time on the Blast Cast, and uh, we'll end this extra cast here. Talk to you later. Bye bye.